What's up guys, welcome back to Game Dev with AI. Pablo Mike here and in this video series we have a challenge developing our first indie real-time strategy game without any coding skills whatsoever, just using the tools of artificial intelligence such as ChatGPT, Midjourney and many others. I'm very excited today to share my progress and in this quick video we are going to be doing what I'm saying. We are going to create the main menu and the testing level and transitions from the main menu to the testing level when you click the button and a lot of cool other little improvements that I'm very excited to share with you we are progressing very nicely at a nice pace and I'm very excited to see how it's going so far I hope you as well so if you missed our previous videos check it out I will show you step by step how I was creating all the parts of the game that you see here so far and it was an amazing journey so far let's keep on going let's get started Ooh. before getting into creating a menu if you remember my game code was complete mess so i took some time to organize things a little bit now on the right side over here we have organized object types like i have bullets enemy units explosions letters map elements and so forth so each type um, i cleaned up i put to correct place to correct folders so nice now everything is nicely organized so it's much easier to find and in our code as well i created groups and put different elements into groups so i can unfold the group and then i have everything about start of the layout then i have everything about camera scroll over here so then i have tank selection so everything is nicely organized and it's much quicker to deal with the code this way i don't have to scroll through the very long pile of code to get to the right point so here is uh, our idea for the main menu this will be a separate layout so i create a new layout i click layout and then add layout and here you can choose add layout with its own layout sheet or just a layout and it's very important in case you want your menu or new level to be obeying new rules you can create a separate layout sheet for each level or you can use just a layout and it will be using the same rules that you have in your original sheet so i don't want to be creating more layouts for now so i just use the same sheet so i click for example my menu is called nuke them all so on the left side i choose event sheet as our main sheet here so it will be obeying same rules my idea was that our menu will be a little bit more fun than usual it's not just text you can actually destroy our menu if you feel bored remember everything about this game should be about chaos and fun and random events so if you're kind of bored you can just go around and destroy the buttons so let me show you how it works so we got our letters here already got music going and if I feel bored, I can come and just destroy the buttons. See? And everything collapsed. <laughs> so what are the elements we need for, that, for our menu? Obviously, the play button is the most important. It's just a sprite. And on, on click of the sprite, we should start our first level. So let's check how we did it. So because you can see on start of our layout, on the mouse click on the left button on the our play button, we create system event, system action called go to layout testing level one. Very simple, just one line. Now how we did these buttons? Well, first of all, by the time of this recording, Mitch Jordan doesn't know how to work with text so far. I'm sure this is coming in the next updates of Mitch Journey. And when you see this video, probably you can already just write the letters and text and it will give you perfect text. But for now, it was quite difficult to create these letters, but we still did it with Mitch Journey. 
as you can see it's quite hard so far it's just writing nonsense like lay play follow it's really struggling so far dealing with text it's just writing nonsense most of the times but you can do it if you <laughs> give it a lot of tries what else we did this is the background for the text and obviously some background for the menu and our letters the letters were really hard to get <laughs> i was trying to get the letters right sometimes it's just again writing nonsense like what the hell is this sometimes it's really hard to get but again if you keep trying if you give it enough prompts it will give you some text after a lot of attempts, I was able to get N, U, K, K, and E letters right. These letters are just sprites. I moved them in the, in the folder called letters and menu. And you can see they're separate sprites. It's not one word because we want to destroy them separately. For example, for letter N, I have several variations of it, which I set in different animations. And behaviors we have physics, so this way that our letters can fall uh, when we shoot them, destroy outside layout, so if they fall down outside of the map, they get destroyed. Drag and drop is just for fun, so you can get bored and move them around on the menu. And sign is basically to make them look animated. They kind of bounce. Their width is increasing and decreasing. This is just to make them a little bit more dynamic than just static. So now, the last thing we need to do is to create the heat physics object. This one over here. It will be invisible, but it will be uh, created when our rocket is overlapping with our letters and this heat physics invisible uh, helper helping object it has fallen behaviors bullet physics destroy outside of layout and pin basically when we hit letters with the rocket this object is created it's invisible, but for physics we need it. And it will hit our letters, and then they will move away, right? You can right-click and see, find all references. This way you can see the code for this physics object. Basically we spawn it, and then it's a bullet, and it's just hitting the letters. So now, let's run it. everything together okay this one already fell down and if i hit with the rocket okay let's try again everything fell apart if you can see they're standing on these little platforms i created also these little platforms because physics is affected by gravity if there is no platform the letters will start falling down right away these platforms are invisible but they also have physics behavior let's try again okay so now if I hit it with the rocket, see, now they will all fall down. Finally, we need to add music for the main menu and for our game. So we have a music folder here, we right click, we import music. Here you can import your music. And now we need to add it in the code. Here you can see this part is deciding which uh, layout we have so for layout new them all at the main menu we have dramatic music running and for the main level we have different music running i also created several extra layers which will be our different levels just for testing purposes the main one is just a test this will help me test the behaviors and also test the town map this way i don't have a big giant map with a lot of things just the basics 
to see what behaviors I need to fix and improve. And another is the testing level. This one is more or less a real level, just a tiny one. Again, I have mega texture as a background here. I located all our units the way I want them to be. And the last thing, very important, is to create pace finding map. This map is not visible in the game, but it helps units know where we can go. For example, I don't want them to go here, to go here, and I don't want to bounce into the water outside of this little island. So how we did it? It's basically a tile map, a new, pro a new tile map. And I simply draw on the tile map where I don't want units to go. For example, I choose and I draw like this. So where I draw, it will be not possible to go because it's a solid. So here and here, here. And for example, over the fort, I don't want them to, to walk over my fort. Somewhere here. All right. So now what will happen is that this tile map will be a solid. I call the tile map level one pass finding, and its behavior is is solid, and then that's nothing else. So all the transparent part of this tile map will be possible to walk, and all parts that have some sort of paint, it doesn't matter which, it will be considered blocked. So if I run this map, units can go anywhere they want except for the tiles that are covered. There is also a little bug that we were able to fix. My friend from Fiverr helped me to fix this bug. So in our case, our units walk straight and back, they don't rotate. And when I was clicking of where they should go, there was slight delay. And I was thinking, why we have this delay? I was thinking it's a path finding problem. But in reality, if you go, it's a little bit tricky. If you go to behaviors and path finding, there is parameter called rotate speed. But in our case, the object is not rotating. It's just going this way or that way. But rotate speed was very, was set very small, and the rotation was disabled. However, um, the program is still doing the rotation, so we don't see it, but it creates a delay. You know what I mean? So now if I put rotate speed real fast, it basically rotates, invisible, but it's a rotation still, it takes time. Now it turns really fast, and then it goes. And this solved the delay issue. It's a really tricky bug. I would never be able to solve this myself. You see, each day you learn new and new things, and it's very exciting, guys. So now everything is ready for our first test. So our Lock and loaded. Right away, sir. And we'll hit the ready to kill. Let's do it. On my way. Consider done. All right. Let's destroy the bottom. <laughs> okay, keep playing. Okay, now zoom out. Now you can see this is a new map. New yeah, here is a bad guy. They can see the flag. Ready and waiting. Ready and waiting. We have to react fast. Consider now. done. Consider <laughs> done. Enemy flag. On my way, sir. Alright. Robot assembly starting. The flag is ours. Okay. Lock and loaded. Right away, sir. Okay. There's one new flag here. Lock and loaded. Right away, sir. Ready and waiting. On my way, sir. Ready and waiting. Consider done. Ready to kill. Lock and loaded. Ready and waiting. Consider done. Ready to kill. <laughs> On my way, sir. Lock and loaded. Right away, sir. Ready to kill. Ready and wait. 
Find it. On my way, sir. Ready and waiting. Consider done. Lock and On loaded. On my way, sir. Lock and loaded. On my way, sir. Lock and loaded. Ready to kill. Ready and waiting. Consider done. Why there's no storm? Lock and loaded. Okay, On my way, sir. Flag secured. Ready and waiting. On my way, sir. Lock and loaded. Right away, sir. Lock and loaded. Ready to kill. Lock and loaded. Ready to kill. Beware, aliens. Lock and loaded. Right away, sir. Ready and waiting. Right away, sir. Ready and waiting. Ready to kill. Ready to kill. Ready to kill. Lock and loaded. On my way, sir. Lock and loaded. Consider done. Ready to kill. Okay. Consider and done. Yeah. I'm the king of the yeah. world. Yeah. Enemy yeah. fort eliminated. It's we are the champions, my friends. We are the champions, my friends. We are the champions. Oh, he, he got him. Good job. Oh.